How to use the Panopto Capture application within Blackboard. There are four overall steps to recording a video within Blackboard using Panopto. But before you can use Panopto to record videos in Blackboard, you will need to link the Panopto Course Tool application to each module for which you intend to record videos. Step 1. Log into Blackboard. Log into Blackboard at mymodule.tcd.ie and then from the left menu select Modules. Locate the module where you want to store your recording and then click on the Panopto folder link on the left menu of the module. Step 2. Create and save a recording. To get started, I'll click on the plus create button. And then select record and browser option. Before I begin my recording, I can change the settings of my recording with the audio, video and screens and apps button. So this will just allow me to choose what microphone I want to use, what uh, camera I want to use, how I want my camera to be set up, do I want to blur my background, etc., and what screens and apps I want to share during my recording. So for example, if I have a PowerPoint presentation to share, I can do that through the screens and apps button. And again, I'll use the Screens and Apps button to select which screen I want to share during my recording. So for example, if I have a PowerPoint presentation to share, then I'll ensure that the presentation is open and select it from the Window tab. So once I've selected my presentation, I'll click on Share. And once I'm satisfied with the settings, I'll click on the red record button to begin the recording. So I have my presentation open here and I'll switch over to PowerPoint and click on presenter mode within PowerPoint in order to share my presentation. Now that I'm satisfied with that, I'll click on the red square button to end the recording. And Panopto will begin processing the recording now, and this could take a few minutes. So I'll use this time to rename my uh, recording and give it a more meaningful title and description. By default, the title will be the date and time of the recording. I'll be notified by email when the processing time is complete. Step three, edit your recording. If I want to make edits to my recording, then I can do this by selecting the edit button. And I can make the edits from this screen here. For more information and support on how to edit your recording, please see the how-to videos located on the Panopto support site. So the final recording is stored in the Panopto's recordings link. And if I want to get to that or I want to view that final recording, I click on that link and I can see that it's stored here. Now to change the settings, including who can view my recording, or set a time and date for release, I'll hover over the little gear icon and click on that. 
And from this menu here, I get an overview of the general settings for the recording. Step four, publish your recording to your module. I can now release this recording to my students by creating a content area link in the left menu of my module. So I do that by clicking on the plus icon and then selecting content area. And now I'll name the link, tick next to available to users and click submit. and a new link will be created in the left menu. So now I'll click on this link, go to the Tools tab, and scroll to Panopto Video Link. From the drop-down menu, I'll select the module where my recording is stored. Then from the lecture drop-down menu, I'll select the name of the recording, and then I'll just give it a relevant description. And when I'm finished with that, I'll click on the submit button. And that's it. I have created and published a recording using the Panopto Capture web browser application within Blackboard. Please see the IT services website for more support and assistance using Panopto.